oink, oink, oink. Ribs, beans, cornbread, ribs, pulled pork, roasted corn, ribs, music, amazing smell, ribs, and wrestling. Yeah, wrestling. This is just a smidge of what you can expect at Canterbury Barbecue Fest. It's three days filled with some of the country's best barbecue, five stages of entertainment, and so much more. It all starts today at 4. To show us what you can expect, we're joined by the owner of Canterbury Village, Keith Aldrich, and joining us all, all the way from Texas. That's right, all the way from Texas. All right, Laura Vega, right? Lauren, yes. Lauren. So just oh, like you, oh, yeah, Lauren. same, yeah. I, I was going to say, okay. it's both the same. Yeah, one places. and one, one and one. <laughs> she can't even get her own name right now. <laughs> I, 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 I know, it was Laura. Okay. It's rough. Listen, that's I've rough. been called worse. It's that's fine. right. <laughs> well, welcome. We're glad you're here yeah. this morning. Yeah. All right, first off, I mean, I'm wafting ribs here, but before we fill our mouths, let's get a little of the stuff from Keith. Barbecue Fest, Canterbury Village, tell us what's going on. I said wrestling, you always incorporate wrestling into everything you do. <laughs> well, you don't have to start with that, but get to it. Well, we, I will get to it because it's like an American staple. People love it for some reason. But yes, this weekend is our uh, Barbecue Fest. We got some great national vendors, uh, including Cowboys here. Uh, all We're the, the way, best. All the way from Texas. <laughs> Um, obviously, the food and looks, looks and smells delicious, and uh, we have all kinds of entertainment all weekend long. Kids are free, uh, 12 and under is free all weekend long. We got a petting zoo, something new for this year, which is really cool. We have line, line dancing lessons. Ooh. I have no idea how it's going to work out. But All I want to know is, are you going to do it? Uh, probably not. <laughs> oh, come on, Keith. Put but, on the cowboy boots. Yeah, so got I'm, the looking hat forward, on. I'm looking forward that, to that tonight, how that's going to play out. But uh, we're going to have a huge line dancing uh, lesson at Canterbury Village this evening and uh, Saturday and Sunday as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun and a lot of family fun, which is the most important thing we, we do at Canterbury. First thing to remember on line dancing, you take the thumbs, you put them in the waist of your pants. Okay, so and you're then an you, expert. And then you can, yeah. Get you're supposed to put it in your that. pockets so because you usually have a belt buckle that big, that the belly pushes it out. Well, so well that's know. right, but I, I like to rest it in between the belt and the waist. That's why there you, you need to come take the lessons then. I guess. Or maybe you can get up and thumb show placement. us what you know. Thumb placement, I didn't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, and all I know is that oink oink you had going on. Like, you don't come out there doing that, you might get cooked. You never. I don't want to get cooked, but you've been doing some good cooking. So tell us what we got in front of us here. I, I see it nicely layered into three yes. uh, three levels. Yes, do you see that? That's nice, right? Mm -hmm. So we actually have our pork ribs. So we use like a St. Louis cut, so it's a little bit bigger bone mm -hmm. than um, the baby back or your typical rib. So, you know, like they say, everything's bigger in Texas, That's right? That's right. So, do say that. And then, of course, what is Texas known for is our beef brisket. Now, we have other stuff, but I did bring you guys the faves. Um, so we have pork, chicken, sausage. We have all them southern fixings. Um, our nice Texas sidekicks, we got macaroni, collard greens, potato salad, coleslaw, blah, blah, all that stuff. I'm just so. going to move this a little bit so people yeah. get a look at that yeah. without without them all sliding down to one. But look at that plate. And you mentioned mm. ribs so oh. many times, Chris. I know you're excited for this. I am so, excited. But I want to... Um, I need you to eat one of yeah, these. Yeah, one. Yeah, because, you know, I watch TV, right? So, you know, you can always tell when it's fake, when they're like, mm hmm, it's yeah. really good. Hey, we have no <laughs> shame really, about yeah, eating around like here. So, really so, uh, so <laughs> you don't get a napkin, but I did bring her a napkin, right? I don't get a napkin. No. Well, you got a white shirt there. I'm going to be wiping That's, my hands and on it's that. It's barbecue. And, you know. you got to lick your fingers, you know? All right, all right. Because we don't, we don't boil our <laughs> pigs in Texas. Well, we right, smoke I'll, them. Because I'm a gentleman, I'll pass this over to you first. Thank you. I don't, But I don't have anything to rest my meal on just yet. So, Lauren, you were talking about all all the traveling you all do as well. Tell me about that. You've had a busy summer. Yes, yeah, so we typically do from May to October. Um, and we've been doing this so long. We always say we should have been at Rivers Rehab, but we haven't quit yet. So uh -huh. we're not going to rehab anytime soon because okay, my daddy didn't raise no quitter, you know? Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Now tell us, you travel that. around all summer, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, that's nice. So Ooh. I only got a little piece. It was hard to pick it up with my hand. That's because I only brought oh, one pork for you. Mm. That's good. Oh, I got a little, get a little smoke on there, too. Yeah, huh? well, of course. Oh, well, geez, I was just observing. <laughs> I right? said it's the pigs really don't swim, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Around here, they be trying to boil them. You know, I'm like, no, no, you got to smoke them. So we put them on fire. Yeah, mm -hmm. so tell us, how long would this, like, take to concoct, this rib I'm eating now? So typically, they we do, like, a, a lower temperature, right? So we like to call it low and slow. And so mm -hmm. we do it at a lower temperature. Um, so they cook for about three and a half, four hours, right? And then we kind of let them uh, marinate right together kind of get that steam going in them and then we put them on the grill and we grill them and caramelize them with the cowboys uh, original uh, grant wow can't speak today but Ooh. the original uh, sauce that we have and Laura, i'm reading your shirt it says you guys were established in 1986 how did you guys get started um really it was like <laughs> it's a funny story but so my dad was in plumbing parts like he had a plumbing business of plumbing parts and he went to north carolina to sell some parts 
and somebody put coleslaw on his sandwich. So he came home and made the sauce and the rub and built a pit, and then we moved to Virginia. So we actually started it in North Carolina, Virginia area. Boom. Oh. Keith, have you had any of these ribs? Hold There's up. You got to look at this. This guy knows how to He's clean a bone, though. Yeah, look, he yeah. knows how to clean That's a right. bone. You got to get it all. Put a piece of food in front of Chris. Ooh, all right. Uh, get this guy eating it. <laughs> now, let's get, you don't get napkins either. Oh, I don't get napkins. How did you come up with this recipe? Is this something you just concocted on your own after years of doing this, or is this like a family recipe? Yes, at one my point? dad started this when I was four. I yeah. know that it started in 86, but I look 20, but I'm not. Hey, we're not here to judge, right? We're not here I mean, to judge. I guess not. Here, Lauren, and so you, you guys have bottled one of these. up the barbecue and now you sell it. Yeah, so we sell the sauce, we sell the rub. Go ahead. Thank you. Know, you. It's okay, Thank girl. You. I'm coming in here for. Okay, but so. I, I don't want to make a mess because I might see. make a mess. Let's see. Don't worry about making a mess. A little bit. Get in there with your hands. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But that's what you want, right? If the brisket's tough, nobody wants tough brisket, right? No, I don't want there, tough get you brisket. some of that. Oh, now you're giving oh, yeah, me a napkin. Now you will give it to you, I guess. I got to get, 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 get that lick down. All right, so, <laughs> Keith, Keith, I heard you mention some music. What kind of music do you have there? Oh, we got music all weekend long. Um, great. <laughs> Great cover bands, and now I'm right in the middle of a rib. Sorry. That's all right. That's why I asked the question. I always like to wait the people fill their mouth. Now, yeah, right. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, did, was it a CCR cover band? Yeah, we have a CCR oh, cover band. That's tonight. rib eating music. Let me <laughs> tell you. Hey, tonight. Oh, wow. He's got a band going. Here we go. <laughs> going again. I told you he had a voice. Look at you. Tonight. Wow. Look at you. He that's... saved it for Friday. He was mm. supposed to sing yesterday. Are these bourbon based by any chance? I Are feel you? a buzz. Are you the, hey, just it's just my energy. That's right. You're not playing tonight, are you? Uh, well, I might be the backup singer. That's right. So you got a CCR cover band. Anything yeah. else? Uh, all there? kinds of all kinds of cover bands all weekend long. Uh, we got monster don't forget the monster trucks. I want to ride that. We got monster <laughs> truck rides, and you know, obviously, what's more American than barbecue? Yep. Wrestling. And monster truck rides. And a that's couple right. beers, you know? Yeah, a couple of Ruskies, I mean, that's right. Good. What do you think? Wash it down with. It's really good. She just, really good. she wants to get really her face dirty after be, the news well, goes I don't want to get my dress I, I get it. I understand. I now, Lauren, tell us, you, you said you've been on the road pretty much all summer. So do you guys have, like, a designated road, or you just drive around from city to city, spreading yeah, the Yeah, we just usually show up. And we're like, hey, we're here. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, so we definitely have a route. So mm -hmm. we start out, like, in the, we kind of stay in this area, though. We start out in Dakota. We do a lot in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, some Kentucky, some Tennessee, and then kind of end in Florida because that's where it's getting warmer. You know, mm -hmm. still it's getting colder up here. But they don't do any in Texas. It's really funny. Yeah, they don't. Huh? Well, I mean, it feels like the sun, you've landed on the sun when you're there, so nobody's yeah, going to be there anyway. So unless they did it at the Cowboy Stadium, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> then <true>. inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, when, when you're talking about, uh, do you go into any kind of uh, contest as well? Do, I mean, I see a lot of those on TV. These are big contests about ribs and whatnot. Do you guys oh, yeah. take part in those? Yeah, we yeah. do. So that's mainly what we do is a lot of them are competitions mm -hmm. um, and so there'll be competitions you're still selling they still have the bands right and they still have this lot of stuff for the kids to do but they either do blind judging where they come through your line and get it or they will bring you around a pan like this and everybody gets it and it, you know they put a sun or a star on it right and so then they go in and and at the end you win but we win all the time because listen you just had some south in your mouth how did that feel like that? <laughs> it felt surprisingly right and you said pleasant. see surprisingly <laughs> pleasant mm, yes. there we go and Lauren, do you ever watch those competition shows and say i could do that because your barbecue is big now yeah a so we've like shows. we've done a lot of those even one of our other um and we travel with a lot of the same guys so really like i've been doing this since i was four like some of these guys have known my whole life you mm -hmm. know um, but a lot of us, there's been a couple of us on, you know, some of those like food networks, yeah. like shows and stuff like that. So, okay. So I'm a bit of a, you know, I, I like to hit the grill. I, I, I'm not a smoker yet, but I, I do grill. So if I was going to, you know, perhaps take a try at making some ribs on my grill, what would you say the, the main thing is, is there one kind of key piece to like make them moist like that or something? Well, you definitely have to, I mean, on the grill, it's, it's a harder one, especially mm -hmm. if you're doing propane or you're doing charcoal, but once you get them tenderized on the back is what they call the belly. So it's like. It starts to get that little bubble. It's almost like yeah. the fat begins yeah, yeah. to bubble up. As soon as that bursts, you're done, baby. You're done. Yep, that's, that's what I got to yep. remember. When the get fat the, when bubbles, the, when the, I'm done. When the belly bursts. <laughs> that's right. It's <laughs> easy to remember. Hey, Keith, give us the details. How do people get involved in this? They have to buy tickets before they show up. Tell uh, me how much. You can buy tickets online. They're only $3 for adults. And as I said at the beginning of the show, uh, kids uh, 12 and under are free all weekend. <laughs> And then obviously you can buy tickets at the door as well. All right, you got wrestling, you got cover bands, ribs. you got ribs. This I is thought be... you were gonna do beans, greens, tomatoes, potatoes. I already did that right. once. Come on, <laughs> it's all original material all here right, on thank CBS you. News. Lauren thank Keith, nice lot for coming by. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Stealing my lines here. More ribs. So stay with us. More headlines coming up in just a bit after the break.